Hi everyone, today we'll discuss two very important kinds of nouns that is common nouns and proper nouns. Have you ever noticed that there are nouns all around you? Suppose if you look around your living room, what can you see there? A lamp, chair, couch, TV, etc. What are all these items? These are common nouns and we use common nouns all the time even if we don't realize it. So, a common noun is a generic name that isn't capitalized. Here are some examples. Ball, tree, flower, mobile phone, dog, etc. are the examples of common nouns. Note that we don't know exactly which tree, ball or dog we are referring to. Since these nouns aren't naming anything specific, they don't need to start with a capital letter unless they begin a sentence. As in the given example, the word dog is a common noun and it has been capitalized as it's beginning the sentence. What are proper nouns? A proper noun is a specific or unique name of a person, place, thing or idea. Unlike common nouns, proper nouns always begin with capital letter regardless of their location in the sentence. It means that their first letter will be capitalized whether they begin a sentence or not. All the names are proper nouns including your name and my name. Notice how your first, middle and last name are all capitalized. They are proper nouns because they indicate a specific, particular person that is you. For example, the words Robert, Paris, Kaide Azam Library are proper nouns. Do you see how these words are different? Robert is the name of a specific person, Paris names a specific city and Kaide Azam Library is the name of a particular library. Sometimes proper nouns consist of two or more words as Kaide Azam Library, Pacific Ocean, River Ravi, etc. In this case, all important words are capitalized as the whole name is considered to be one noun. Proper nouns include names of weekdays, months of the year, towns, cities, streets, states, countries and brand names. Let's have a look at some more examples of common and proper nouns. He is a man of principles. The word man is a common noun. It is a generic name and we can use it for any man. Next example. He plays cricket with his friends. The word cricket and friends are common nouns. He wasn't born in this country. The word country is a general word and can be used to refer to any country. Hence, it's a common noun. He has a house across the river. The word house and river are the common nouns and you can see that all the common nouns are written in small case. Their first letter isn't capitalized. Let's see the examples of proper nouns. The last day in March is Wednesday this year. March is the name of a specific month and so is the word Wednesday. Both of them are proper nouns. Ahad goes for a walk every Monday. Ahad is a name. Can we call all the men with this name? No, we can't do that because it's not a generic name. So the words Ahad and Monday are proper nouns. They live in Maldives. Alex is a wonderful player. Maldives is a unique name of a specific country and Alex is the name of a specific person which makes both of these words proper nouns. An easy way to spot proper nouns is the first letter of that word. If it's capitalized, it's a proper noun then. You can see that the first letter of all the proper nouns is capital in these examples. Let's check out the difference between common and proper nouns. We can differentiate between the two by saying that a common noun is a general way of classifying something and a proper noun is a specific way of classifying something. For instance, the word dog is a common noun, but if your dog is called Snoopy or Scooby-Doo, then either of these is a proper noun. Likewise. Man and boy are common nouns, but when we say John, it becomes a proper noun as we're talking about a particular boy or man whose name is John. Similarly, Mary is the proper noun for a girl or woman. You can see in the left column, general names or common nouns have been given and right opposite to them, you can see their specific names or proper nouns. For example, the word book is a common noun. And if we say Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, it's a proper noun because it's the name of a specific book. Let's look at some more examples. 
My favorite newspaper is Washington Post. The word newspaper is a common noun, whereas Washington Post is a proper noun as it is the name of a specific newspaper. Second example, her husband is called Frank. In this example, the word husband is a common noun, whereas Frank is a proper noun as it's the name of a person. In each of these examples, sentence A uses a common noun and sentence B replaces this common noun with a proper one. See if you can tell the difference. Mary likes to read a book every night before she goes to bed. Can you guess the common nouns used in this sentence? Your answer is right if you thought it's the word book. Next example. My favorite thing to drink is soda. My favorite thing to drink is Diet Coke. In this example, the word soda is a common noun which has been replaced with the word Diet Coke. Do you know that all the proper nouns have common noun equivalents? As you can see that rose petal is a proper noun and its common noun equivalent is the word tissue. Similarly, Red Bull is the name of an energy drink and its common noun equivalent is the word drink. However, not every common noun has its proper noun equivalent. For example, words hand, dirt and space have no proper noun equivalents. It's quiz time. Here is a hundred word story from Reader's Digest. Let's do a noun hunt and sort out common and proper nouns from the story. The title of the story is A Very Special Finish. Let's read the story and try to find both kinds of nouns. His son Mark volunteered to help Sherry, a young runner at a local Special Olympics. Sherry was happy and enthusiastic. Mark encouraged her, kept her calm and helped her know when it was time to line up for her race. When the starting pistol sounded, she took off like a lightning bolt, leaving her fellow racers behind. As she neared the finish line, she stopped, turned around and motioned for the other runners to hurry. She waited for them so they could all cross the finish line together. So here is the story with the highlighted nouns. Sun is a generic word and the proper noun for it is Mark here, which is the name of the sun. Sherry is the name of a person and its common noun equivalent is the word runner. Special Olympics Sherry and Mark are the proper nouns as the name persons and an event and you can also see their first letter is capital. On the other hand words race, pistol and racers are common nouns. Hope you'll be able to differentiate between common and proper nouns correctly next time. I'll end today's lesson with this quotation, knowing is not enough, we must apply. So keep on learning and keep on applying. That's all for today. Thank you so much.